Well, a holiday party just isn't complete without a good cocktail. Our partners at Eating Well are sharing some great recipes in their December issue, which is available now. Yeah, Jillian Lopez met up with the editor-in-chief of Eating Well to try and make some of these delicious and festive drinks. Take a look. Well, it's the holiday season, and that means it's time for holiday parties and plenty of holiday cocktails. Eating Well Editor-in-Chief Jesse Price is showing us how to up your cocktail game and maybe go beyond just your traditional punch. Yeah, when you do a special cocktail, it just makes any occasion feel more special, right? Yes, yeah, and more festive. Exactly. <laughs> so for the December issue of Eating Well, we decided to do a whole story about cocktails that use very funky specialty ingredients. And I'm going to show three of them to you today. Okay, I'm excited to see it. Let's start over here. Okay, so um, this is a take on a hot toddy. Love it. Um, it's called a winter warmer. And I have honey in the bottom of my glass. I'm adding bourbon, making a little splash there. That's okay. And we're adding, adding a bartender to your resume now. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if the bartender would be uh, splashing quite like that. <laughs> no, it so looks you, great. You stir it around to uh, dissolve it a bit. Um, but then this is really going to do the trick. So I'm adding in um, infused infused water, so it's infused with a little bit of lemon and ginger. This smells amazing. I wish everyone at home could smell it because it's really getting me in the holiday spirit. It is <laughs> delicious. Um, and this is, you know, a hot toddy is actually traditionally something um, some people believe you should have it when you're sick for a cold, um, but I think you could have it for a party. And, and it seems like the perfect cocktail to cozy up on a warm winter night. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So I just added in the funky ingredient right here. Okay. Um, so this is called propolis. Um, it's actually a substance that bees make when they are building a hive. Okay. And you can find this in a natural, natural food, food store. Stores. Okay. Perfect. Oh, that no, one smells that's amazing. That's <laughs> Jesse, okay. you're getting me excited. Okay, let's move on over all right, here. All right, all right, let's move over. Okay, so now we're doing a festive brunch cocktail. So that's carrot juice going in my shaker, mm. um, pineapple juice. Um, then I'm doing one shot. I count to three. One, two, three. Good shot that right is there. mezcal. <laughs> um, I'm going lime juice in here. Hold and it on. has carrot juice, it has a vegetable in it, so it's healthy. For breakfast, people. <laughs> right? Come on. <laughs> so you shake that up, pretty easy right there. Okay, pour it in your glass. Ooh. That is beautiful. I love color. the color. It's amazing. And then a couple dashes of bitters right on top. Oh, Brunch cocktail. That is perfect. And maybe a little garnish can oh, go oh, a long oh, oh, way. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Can't forget the garnish. Oh, well, no. Oh. More the better. Float More the merrier. It, float it, float it, float it. No problem. All right, I see champagne over here. Okay, so um, we've already made a little bit of syrup here. So this is maple syrup, cayenne, and lemon juice. Oh, I added a little too much. That's okay. No one's going to know. And you're from um, Vermont, right? So I you am like from the maple. Vermont. So we had to represent our home state there with a little bit of maple syrup. Then you're pouring uh, sparkling wine right on top. Oh, now it's a oh, party. That one, that, that one will be <laughs> That's mine. Okay. No, that one I will like be it. mine. I'll grab this one here. Okay. Look at the bubbly. Oh, bubbly. oh my God. Okay, so you actually it's need to pour this a little more carefully. <laughs> we can choose oh to my that. God. <laughs> Well, you'll find these cocktail recipes and others in the December issue of Eating Well magazine on newsstands now. Eating Well is published by the same company that owns this television station. You can also visit eatingwell.com for more holiday inspiration. That's it from us here in the kitchen. Thank you so much, Jesse. Thank you Let's so cheers to that. much. All right, be sure to pick up a copy of Eating Well available on newsstands now from food and drink recipes to gift ideas and more. Yeah, and again, WSB and Eating Well are owned by the Meredith Corporation. I like that picture. Celebrate deliciously. Oh, celebrate deliciousness. Mm.